So in order to know where the chords go, because strumming thing is done right hand stop, but the left hand has to be right also. So and therefore let's count a little bit and play at 70 beats per minute just where the chord goes. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two.
that and then of course if we play without the count just I play the chords and you play the strumming with that and then see if it is synchronized for instance that would be like this one two one two three four Seven, and the fifth string can leave 
open the 6th if you want, or we can play like this. Then we have finger 3 on the 9th fret for the string, and finger 2 on the 8th fret, 2nd string. Then we have A7, bar 5, finger 3 on the 7th fret, 5th string, and finger 2 on the 6th fret, 3rd string. Then we have D, which is the 9th, we will call it D. Bar 5, finger 3, on the 7th fret, 4th string, finger 4 on the 7th fret, 3rd uh, string. And then we have G7, which would be bar 3, finger 3 on the 5th fret, 5th string, finger 2 on the 4th fret, 3rd string. Then we have C9, which would be bar 3, finger 3 on the 5th fret, 4th string, and finger 4 on the 5th fret, 3rd string. Then we have B7 flat 9, and this will be bar 2 from the 5th string. Or the whole thing, but we don't play the 6th here, we play from the 5th up, up or down. We have to see from here downward. This movement, finger 2 goes on the 4th fret, 4th string, finger 4 on the 5th fret, 3rd string, and finger 3 on the 4th fret. Second string. Like this, or we can play it also here. These last two chords, A minor over B flat. We can also play it with bar five, finger two on the sixth fret, sixth string, and finger three on the seventh fret, fifth string. And then this flat nine, we can play it with bar seven, finger three on the ninth fret, fifth string, finger four on the tenth fret, fourth string, and finger two on the eighth fret, third string. These are the chords. Then, if we instead of this uh, A7 and B7 use the the substitute dominance, then then we will have E flat uh, E flat seventh after nine augmented, and that will be that will be uh, we don't play the sixth string, and then we have finger two on the sixth fret fifth string, finger one on the fifth fret fourth string. Finger 3 on the 6th fret, 3rd string, and finger 4 on the 7th fret, 2nd string. We can play open the 1st string also, no problem. And, uh, and, then, and then here, with, for the D flat 7, uh, dominant secondary uh, axis, uh, substitute dominant fifth of the flat 6, this D flat 7, that would be. Finger 2 on the 4th fret, 5th string, finger 1 on the 3rd fret, 4th string, finger 3 on the 4th fret, 3rd string, and finger 4 on the 5th fret, 2nd string. With the first string open, we don't play the 6th again. And this same, and this one's the same. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The improvisation is something that I think that every music should be. A un músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música, debería, debería aprender porque en la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que, en el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo creo que son muchas horas elaborando esa música.